Second Ezra, chapter, uh, but you know, just generally speaking, you know, because hey, women are, uh, women are, uh, you know, men are stronger than women. You know, not every uh, uh, man is stronger than a woman because there are women out there who, are, you know, of course, you know, some some of them are boxers, UFC soldiers, but you know, just generally speaking, general. No. Huh? All right. So how much more? Uh, if men are going to be afraid, how much more women and children? You know, it's very, it's facts. You know, it's facts. Absolutely. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. A man, okay, or woman shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. See? A man, second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. This is a heavy, heavy uh, scripture right here. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. So he ain't going to give a damn. You know, and say, hey, Jeff, you know, Chris, you know, Kimberly, you know, hey, I thought we were neighbors. And say, well, I'm sorry, Kimberly, you know, but I need uh, I need what you have, you know, because my kids have to eat. So, you know, a lot of people are going to be blowing each other away with shotguns. You know, they're like, hey, I thought we were neighbors. It's, it's going to be no survival to finish because when somebody don't eat okay try to go out without uh lunch and breakfast and see how you act okay now let now try to go out food and water for two days now try to go out uh with food and water for two days and not only you but your children uh your animals your dogs your pets huh you know not only are you going to be suffering but your your family suffering around you and all you guys are, are starving and suffering Oh, it's going to be survival. You, you're going to go out on the hunt. You're going to say, well, you're going to have to do whatever. Desperate times call for desperate measures. You know, right now you're saying, oh, no, we won't do that. Well, wait to that time. You got you got, uh, you got, got coffee in you right now. You got an energy drink in you right now. You got tea in you right now. You know, you got in and out in you right now. Huh? Uh-oh. in and out Spoiler alert. Okay, you see? You see? But shall destroy their houses with the sword, meaning the gun, military, and spoil their goods, their goods, them, their food, their children, because children are going to be getting kidnapped too. They're going to be eating children, holding children for ransom. It's going to get that bad because of the lack of bread, because a lot of people are going to die of starvation out here, ladies and gentlemen, and for great tribulation, you know, wars, you know, uh, all kinds of uh, bad things are going to be happening out here. Evils. Evils means bad times. So with that, um, uh, that's it on today's lesson. Lord willing, I can make a part two and I'll go into, uh, you know, uh, the 16th chapter of Second Ezra. You know, so uh, stay sharp out there. You know, we're, we're coming up to the Passat. You know, the Passover, you know, it's a very strong time. The Lord's doing a lot of sifting, also a lot of judging. So, you know, just do your best. You know, don't freak out. Have a Mac attack. Okay, just, you know, just do your best. You know, just hold it down, baby. You know, hold it down. Pray fast if you have to. Strong, strongly encourage that. All right. Uh, push the video, you know, whenever you can because videos help keep demons off you. You know, read. Go into the Word. Pray. Talk to the Lord. Okay. Don't pretend. Be real. Just come with it. You know, come to the Lord. Be real. You know, don't just... You know, oh my God, you know, no, just what's up? T tell the Lord what you need. Be real. Don't be phony. Huh? Don't half step. Huh? You know, don't be phony. You know, just be real. Just, it just, hey, just be real. Be real with it. That's it. Keep it simple, baby. You know, pray fast, study, you know, work out a little bit if you can, if you're able, you know, uh, you know, be constructive. Keep yourself busy, you know? Not too much where, you know, you overdo it, but, you know, keep uh, occupied till the Lord comes. You know, make the adjustments. No excuses, you know? Make the adjustments, you know? Stop complaining. The Lord gave you the tools that uh, you need to combat these uh, evil forces. All right, so, you know, uh, no more complaining, you know? Stop being weak. Just make the adjustments. On your feet, soldier. Shalom.